Tyler Jones. The Aggies working the ball on the perimeter. Here's May, baseline jumper, rims out, the home rim. Not, that was a clinic in passing. Dueling to the rack. Can't put it home. That's a great sign for a shooter. That means you're locked in at the center of the rim, knocking those shots down with confidence. Rojas off the mark. The rebound corralled by Stan. The trail Sprewell, Robert Ory, James Hollywood Robinson with Wimp Sanderson on the south sidelines at Alabama. We didn't win that game, but I played well. No. <laughs> oh, wow. What a great story that is. Ludwig. Thank you, Bill. Words to live by as Indiana leads by five with about eight minutes to go in this third place game in the Camping World Maui Invitational. Beautiful. Armand Franklin missed the three. Oh, offensive Indiana. game for the Hoosiers. Well, we, we called them out there in the, you know, yesterday when they had 44 for the entire game. Lowest score in 10 years or more. I love offense. I love scoring. Oh, yeah, no, like it's to the rim. Top 10, according to Ken Palm a season ago. Here's Fred Cleveland out of Chicago, Illinois. Jones turns, fires. Do you have strong. that second chance or whatever the number you're on? I'm on number 21 right now. Make the most of it. Just Don't get right back or anybody else. That second jump's critical. Rodman was phenomenal at that second jump. Lead pass ahead, and they will get a They foul. seem to love this, this fast-paced game. And I think A&T, one of the things I thought coming in was a t had to control the pace. But right now, Stanford is doing that. Another three-pointer. The Cardinal, a very disciplined ball club. As that ball stolen, here's the lead to Davis. Goes up and slams it home. You're defending that attacker on the break. Basketball for the NCAA. That's right. And now that position is held by Dave Oakley, the Wake Forest legend. A year ago, and they're looking to build on that same level of play this season. Contrasting styles, physicality of Stanford, up and down nature of Alabama. Jones outside. That's an offensive foul. And the Crimson and Tide turn it over on their first possession. And now a zone shown by the Cardinal for the first time. Petty Quinley. inside. Good luck. Quinley back in the game with those two fouls right now. Nate Oates recognized. short. And you mentioned the lack of fans at Rupp. We're going to see the same thing at Cameron Indoor. The other great venues around the country. Zaire continues to impress, but he is not getting sped up. Regardless of the defense, he's getting to his spots. Great footwork. Maintain possession, and we'll do that. Approaching the halfway point of the second half. Bruner attacking. Nice pass. Getting caught in no man's. But and some may not. There's a number of things that will get exposed playing against professionals that may not get exposed. Ball player for him in a Jayhawks uniform as Langley cross-court pass. The Aggies looking to get something going on offense. Good ball movement and great backdoor cut that time. Just didn't execute the lob. The mark. Here come the Crimson Tide. It's Josh Primo, another freshman. And a quick trigger for Josh. You. And again, I ask the Cardinal faithful to enjoy these next few months because I believe this is all you will see Dyer Williams in a Stanford uniform. Creation by one man of the Portola expedition of 1769, which had 63 people. It was the first European land exploration of the state of California and the, and the West Coast. Yeah, 75 here in San Diego today. Oh, poor guy. So, and layup. Wills looks like he might, might have been from Europe the way he hit him with that. That's beautiful. Oh, good pass inside. And who's there to knock it away and block it? De Silva. Rebound controlled by Jordan Bruner. Tide will push tempo. Patty Jackson three, and he comes up short. Reese. Rejection at the rim. The Reese actually led Alabama in block shots a year ago, averaged 8.8 .8 points per game coming off the bench now. But he was an integral part of Ball and Oates a year ago and coming in and paying dividends defensively early. Miss. Tap to Jones. Big possession now for Alabama. Shackleford. High off the glass and off the mark. De Silva controls. 
But Cardinal will push the pace. Jared has told us yesterday we're going to be faster and play faster than we have in recent years. Williams lost the handle. It pops out to Jones. Three on two. Shackle for the runner. Oscar De Silva has not had a strong game today. We haven't seen much from Zaire. That was Davis That's forcing one right there. Indiana's defense has just been too good. The loose ball. Here comes Langley breaking things out. His pass knocked down by Davis. Tates through traffic. Drops it off to De Silva, who rocks the rim. Just running the court. This week, Williams is selfless and is not afraid to give it up, no matter what the situation may be. And one of the things that you're going to hear a lot about him, and which is so important, especially as we see a nice move on the block. The game score that Ante is looking for. Right now, the Aggies with no one averaging double figures. Somewhat reminiscent of an Aggies team from two years ago as De Silva takes it from the block up under and finishes. Beautiful move inside by De Silva. That's usually reserved for somebody six foot six or taller. Yeah, Cam is what I call an old school player. I mean, he's, he plays on the playground growing up with, with a lot of older men, so he kind of picked up their game. He needs the peach baskets out here. <laughs> As De Silva. De Silva starting. Fresh 20. Stanford will set up the offense. Williams with 11 points. Looking sharp. Five rebounds and three dimes already. Inside and another bucket. An easy one. You know, they were, their defense was fantastic in the first two games. They held Alabama to 64. North Carolina to 67. They're on the pace to give up a lot more than that today. But they're off. And in... In... The game of life, you should not be saddled with excessive fouls. Particularly, I mean, the whole Still foul out rule. The whole yep. foul out Stanford back in transition. This is what they do well. The fadeaway won't go. And the secondary <laughs> footback for De Silva. And Williams, a perfect three for three from bonus land. Now attacking. Some of these players at times, <laughs> but you will never know because you can't read their lips with the mask on. The Silva, the stick. Back. Al Durham typically starts in that spot for Indiana, and he went out with an ankle injury yesterday, so we may not see Al Durham in this game as they go down low. To Silva's got all four. Chance and the critical need of health care, of food, and everything. It's all based on what we can do to make other people happy, to put smiles on their faces. And that starts with health. Good luck, Andrew. We're pulling for you, big guy. And to everybody out there who's dealing with a cancer diagnosis and whatever you can do. To who was drafted in the first round by the Pelicans, one of the, the fastest players I've ever seen in person in college hoops. They go back to, to Ty Lawson, who we talked about earlier tonight with the Tar Heels. He certainly stands out, but Bama replacing him, that's a big loss. For Considering them. that the majority of the country is not near water, <laughs> I think that's a smaller pool of participants in that contest. Unfortunately, he hasn't seen much of it for the first 30 minutes. Shot clock under 10. Beautiful cut and finish. Line for Ellis. Herb Jones on the floor for Bama with four personal fouls. Lead is 20. Off the pump fake, the easy finish. Kansas, they both started the game terribly, and then came back and won comfortably. Go figure. Beautiful as back pot. Hostages was a, was, was a big deal. So I'm singing some goofy old blues song. I think it was called Blues in My Breakfast Cereal, sort of a, had a high Martin Mull factor. And so, so for all for all five of the Martin Mull fans, other than Bill and myself. The morning of the show. So I get there and there's like 200 people who want to go, right? And so we march down to Frost. Ramrod and Big Steve open up the back gate and just let everybody in. And, and 2.3 rebounds per game in that span. Two of 14 from the floor. But Harry Morris is a guy who could make, who could be a change agent for the Aggies. De Silva from downtown. Wow. It. <laughs> he can do it all. De Silva is, is just special. Now De Silva out top.
think it became so easy for Stanford at one point in the, in the ball game. And De Silva again, 22 points. The faster pace, average only 15.2 seconds per possession. And so Nate Oates, of course, wants to be able to pick that up this season. But it's going to be tough to do when you don't have Kara Lewis, who was a force a ton of length out on the floor. Here's Wills to the rack, drops it off, and De Silva slams it home. They are playing, have not finished, and they just have to finish because they've had some, some dead-on looks that they couldn't finish. And Stanford again, inside, easy bucket. Shot clock. That, that's a huge mistake. You know, you give Stanford a, 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 another whole possession. The float pass for De Silva, and it becomes a four-point play after the foul. Cover your ears, Alabama fans, but he told us yesterday, he was asked, who's your favorite player? And the first words out of his mouth, Charles Barkley. Blue Ridge Ranger, a.k.a. Jason Benetti, will be on that call. <laughs> Good look inside for the flush by De Silva.